Hello and welcome to yet another exciting Two Minute Tuesday. So glad to see you, although I can't see your smiles because they're covered due to coronavirus. But nonetheless, thank you for being here. This week we have a super exciting episode because we're going to be talking about modifying something that I get requests on weekly, at least, from customers and others out there, you know, and, and I'm talking about the the way lookups display information. So I'll show you an example. So let's say I go to opportunities, it's just open any opportunity, doesn't matter. And here you can see the A Datum Corporation is the account in this particular opportunity. So when I click on the lookup, you notice that it's showing me the account name and right below, I guess that's a phone number. But in some cases, it's showing me an email address in there. Uh, and if I keep scrolling down, I get kind of a combination of two, like th this one is showing me a city, like what, what is going on? Like, you know, it, it looks like a mess. The problem is, is it's not really a problem. It's actually a, a cool thing once you understand it, but the information that pops up on that lookup comes from a view and more specifically the columns that are included on that view. So the requests typically come and say, hey, can I change the information that is shown on those lookups or one that has been happening a lot is, you know what? I wanted to look kind of like the classic interface where I just had the account names. I don't care about the phone number and emails and they, cities or whatever. I don't want that. So whether your request comes from, you know, can I see the owner or can I see the account number or can I see something else instead of the phone number or email address uh, or whether the request comes from, can I just see a list of accounts? The process to change that is exactly the same. So let's start the countdown and let's go. So in here, you know, the first thing that you want to do is to find out which view is you know, the lookup pooling. In this case, because this is the default account lookup within Opportunity, is going to be the default um, account lookup view from Dynamics 365. So I have already pulled the view in here. So as you can see, this is the default account lookup view. You can read it right here. But obviously, if you, if you configure your lookup to look at another view or whatever it is, you want to be able to pull the view that you want to modify. And in this case, you know, like I said, we have two scenarios where I want to be able to pick what information I want. This is pretty cool because the way it works is if you notice, um, you know, it's in order. So it has the account name, then the email, then the main phone. So Dynamics, the way it works is it will display all the information that it can in that order. So it will go for account name plus email. If you cannot find an email, it'll give you a phone number. If you cannot find that, then it goes to account number and eventually all the way to a to a, the city right here um, in, this, in this one. So it's always trying to show you more information. But let's just say you want to see only the account names. So it's pretty straightforward. Look, I just click on the column and I'm going to remove it. So I'm going to just keep going, remove, remove, remove everything. Right. And obviously, if you didn't want to just get the names just like that, let's say you wanted to add the owner or something like that. All you have to do is add the right columns that you want. But in this case, let's say that the request is all I want to see is the account names. I don't want to see anything else. So no problem. We go ahead and remove that stuff and go ahead and hit publish. Now, once this is published, we're going to go back to our opportunity and we're going to refresh the form just to see the behavior. So there it is. It's done. As you can see, there's no cuts on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and hit refresh in here. It's going to reload the same opportunity and we should see it pretty much immediately. That publish button on the view editor is a save and publish button. So here we go. Here's the account lookup. Now we click on it and boom, there you go. Just the names of the accounts, just like we wanted. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like, thumbs up, obviously. Help us become the number one Dynamics 365 a Power Platform related channel on YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you next week.